Looking at the universe, we see that near enough every object is static in their position. Looking even closer, we see that the most massive objects in our universe are moving away from us. The universe is expanding because of those objects that have mass. So you would probably think, as the universe keeps on expanding, the interaction of those massive objects would slow down this expansion rate. Gravity would simply slow down the expansion of the universe. Then, in the late 1990s, the supernova survey was finished. It looked deeper and deeper into the past of the universe than ever before. The survey measured the distances of the supernovas, collecting data to calculate the rate of the expansion of the universe. When the results were published, they came out with a surprising conclusion. The prediction was that the universe was expanding, but it was slowing down. But actually, the universe was fighting back against gravity. From these results, they were able to acquire that the universe was still expanding, but it was also accelerating. This was a very unpredictable and exciting result for the scientists. The force that was accelerating the expansion of the universe was called dark energy. There have been lots of ways to try and understand dark energy. One of them has been the cosmological constant. This was an idea that Einstein introduced into his field equations in the famous theory of general relativity. The cosmological constant was to keep the universe stable. The idea that the universe was increasing or decreasing was something that Einstein wasn't comfortable with. So by creating these equations, he could say that if the universe was supposed to expand or contract, he could make a little mathematical adjustment so the universe could stay the same size. About 10 years later, an astronomer called Edwin Hubble came across measuring galaxies with their redshift to measure their distances. His results of the redshift of galaxies came up with a weird conclusion that the universe was expanding. This realisation of Hubble's data came to become the idea of the Big Bang Theory. So now we have found that the universe is expanding and the expansion is accelerating. There are plenty of experiments and theories to try and understand what dark matter is and where it came from. Most theories suggest that the expansion will continue to accelerate in the space between the galaxies. Although some theories do suggest that the strong nuclear force, the force that holds protons and neutrons together at the centre of an atom, will be strong enough that dark energy will never be able to separate the fundamental pieces of matter. And there is even a theory that suggests that dark matter will grow even stronger over time. There is also some experimental evidence for this, and the mathematics seems to back this up. If dark energy increases over time, the distances between every object in the universe will not matter. The theory states that everything will be pulled apart, or ripped apart. All the galaxies in the night sky will recede past the cosmic horizon. As the space between the objects grow and increase, the acceleration of the space also increases. Gravity will eventually be overtaken by the power of dark energy. Any other fundamental force of the universe will be quelled by the ever-increasing power of dark energy. First the clusters of galaxies, and then the galaxies themselves will be torn apart. Then the solar systems, and then down to the stars and the planets themselves. Eventually, even objects at the quantum level will be ripped apart. This is the theory of the Big Rip. The electromagnetic force, the weak and strong nuclear forces, would lose their influence on the universe. So therefore, if dark energy increases over time, getting stronger and stronger, it will eventually overcome everything within the universe. And therefore, the universe would just be left as a supermassive void of random, non-interacting subatomic particles. If the expansion of the universe keeps on accelerating, due to the influences of dark energy, the accelerating force of the expansion will dominate the universe. 
This could possibly be the only fundamental force in our cold, dark void, far-flung, complex, uniform and fragile universe.